From my perspective, um, colleague strengthen is exactly what it sounds like, right? It sounds like, you know, how do we make sure that we're working great as a team and working together? But there are so many ways that we could do that. We could live in silos and be colleague strengthened. And how does that work? Uh, I do my job and I just pass it along to the next person. Uh, so I've got my little silo and then you do your job and that's a little silo. And that's that's being colleague strengthened, I guess, right? I did, did my job. But what colleague strengthened really means when you read into the principle of, of colleague strengthened, it really is speaking to a collaborative mindset. And there's a big difference between the word collaboration versus the word cooperation. I'm dealing with a particular uh, instance. It could be a vendor, it could be a, a customer, it could be a competitor, and we have to get this project done. So we cooperate and we get it done, and then we move our own ways. We then, right? But there's, there's no glue that keeps it together. A collaborative mindset is a mindset of, I'm about to do something, whatever that task is, and then it's gonna get passed along. How do I make sure, make certain that I'm being colleague strengthened, that I'm taking that work that I've done, having the next person who's gonna to touch that and make sure that when they get that, they're getting it with all the right information, they're getting it in a way that it was put on a platter for them so they can pick it up and take it. And the beautiful thing about having a collaborative mindset or, or being collaborative in how we do things is that if you're doing it for me and then I'm doing it for you and then and it goes around that way, what happens ultimately is that everyone's world is a much better place and the re end result of whatever that project or task is, is going to be with, done so much better, so much quicker, so much faster. So colleague strength is being there for each other. And what does that mean? Worrying about the next person in the process. So Sai, when you hear that concept of colleague strength and you look at the teams that you get to work with, are you taking that and bring that into, into the world that you're involved in? So that's quite, it has it evolved? I, I get it, yeah. So 100%, I would say absolutely evolved. And it has been a journey, I would say, because taking from something on a piece of paper to see it in action takes time. And we did grow into a situation where we can now say that everyone understands our principles and can apply in every walk of life. So one thing that I have seen at l and is that we have two strong traits, which is everybody has willingness to learn and willingness to teach. Uh, if you have a knowledge in some function, you don't keep to yourself. You go and interact with other team members and understand like, okay, this is what I do and also have willingness to learn like, what do you do? So that they understand each other and then what we get to is a sum of whole versus sum of parts. We know that sum of four is always greater than sum of parts, so we have that amplifying effect. So if we can work together in that way, we can achieve the end goal. Right? Well, you're yeah. saying is something actually deeper, that colleague strengthen, yeah. mm -hmm. what it really is is information sharing. That's correct, yeah. So I've got information, how do I get it to the next person? They have information, how do they get it back to me? And that that really is a double click on, on collaboration. So let's talk about your, your world. What is it that, what is, how do you bless us every day? So my part at LNR is, um, I'm a, a lead for QC, Quality Control and Massage Ambi. So my aspect here at this company, when I first started, it was a journey for myself. I learned so much from others and I continue that passing on now that I'm a lead. And now I'm also trying to always have a communication with them. It's not only coming out from my house to my job, be close to everyone, but just making us part of family. This is the way that we bring out everyone here. So I'm, I'm hearing a theme now. The theme I'm hearing, you see, I, I love working with people who are so much smaller than me. That's so, that's so cool. Because what I'm hearing, I'm, I'm using this word collaboration, and what, what, what the common theme here has been, like, 
information sharing. And then ultimately what you said, which is very uh, ingratiating, very endearing, is that creates a family type of an atmosphere of, hey, we're all working this together. And then I heard you say, I take that home with me. That's awesome, thank you for sharing. Darwin, let me, let me bring it to you. As we talk about colleague strength, and, um, how have you seen it evolve here it's in your experiences? Uh, you can definitely see the difference now. You can feel the difference. You can, uh, you know, you can go out on the warehouse floor and see the difference and, uh, and, and constantly happening. You know, for me, for example, just this morning, we had our morning meeting, 8.30 kickoff with all the supervisors, talking about the day's plan. You know, what do we got? Where are we at? What do we want to be at? Uh, what do we need to uh, do to get us there, right? Uh, and uh, subtle differences. You know, before, uh, it was me calling the shots, me telling uh, the individual supervisor, let's, uh, hey, let's move uh, some individuals from your department. Let's help out inbound because they're a little bit behind or vice versa. Now we're to the point where they're, they're making those moves already. Right? And they're helping each other out. They're checking with each other. Hey, how are you doing? Are you okay? What do you need? And it's at the, at right now, I, I love this because it's at the lead level. Uh, they're engaged. Um, it, uh, it helps us to make the most out of our people. And that's essentially what this is. It's setting each other for success. You know, we've got other principles like, you know, intentional and things of that nature. But what, 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 I'm, what I'm starting to to like learn from you guys is, and talking to you is yes, this colleague strengthen and we have you know information sharing, collaboration, but that leads to confidence to then be intentional and make decisions on our own without having to ask, can I do that? You can be intentional, you can be proactive, but I see colleague strengthen or collaboration as a fundamental principle. You cannot just have one trait. You can be intentional, but you are working with a me approach, but not with a we approach. We are not going further. So first thing that we need to strengthen ourselves is to work well with the colleagues, right? When great minds come across, so you have different ideas, right? So when everyone of us want to do working towards end goal, if you have same ideas, it's well and good. It's a positive approach. But how do we interact with each other when we have conflict of ideas, right? So that's what has changed and that's what we can use colleague strength as a guideline. So responding versus reacting is a great aspect here that we can bring in, right? So when we are having a conversation, you have a great idea on how you want to do things. You don't want to have a me approach there and get that done. Understanding what other team members can bring an idea across different levels, right? You do not, you, great ideas come from warehouse. How many times have you had great ideas from associates? Oh, right? hundreds of times. So we worked on some yeah, projects Some of the here. best ideas is from the individual that's right there in the trenches in the floor. You know, they come up and they tell you something you would have never even thought of it. That's the power of, of calling strength mm -hmm. is where everyone feels like they have a voice. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. and when you have great leaders in a business, um, who have that mindset, who have a colleague strength in mindset, not only do not all the great ideas have to come from me, but we're so much better off when the great ideas come from the associates, individuals, yes. the people in the trenches, people in the DC, people out in the field. Mm -hmm.